What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a better RTX. It's pretty straightforward. There are a few device specifications like, let me zoom that in. You need at least an RTX 2070 or I think maybe 2060 or higher. Um, a Discord account, I will go into um, how to get it if you're underage or don't or don't have a Discord account. Um, IOBit Unlocker, which we'll be using in the video, and we and I'll have a link in the description for that. Um, for CPU, I saw that you need an Intel Core i5 or AMD equivalent. You won't really have to worry about this because most modern computers these days have um, better CPUs than the ones um, for the minimum requirements. And also, if you don't, like I said, if you don't have a Discord account, I'll put a link for the GitHub in the description. So, what you want to do if you're installing from Discord is you want to go to your Discord once you have an account, um, open up the link, join the Discord server, and once you've gone through all the steps to verify. So now that we're in Discord, you want to go to the, the RTX install info. You want to open up the most recent version. I'm going to do version 1.1.1 as that is the most recent version of the time I'm recording this. You want to just click the little download button here. Completely safe to use. And you want to save that and put that on your desktop. So once you click save, you can back out. Back out. And once you have it, you'll have it right here. It should be better RTX installer.ps1 or a similar name. And you always want to click run with PowerShell. And then you want to just do uncheck that if you want so it doesn't always pop up this pop up. And just because it is safe um, if you download it from the right place. And so once you've done that, you can click open. So for today, we're going to be installing from Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You just want to do one, click enter. Next, you want to install from the server. There will, if it, that doesn't work, you can always do install from local files, and I'll show you how to do that in a sec. But for now, we're just going to do install from server. Now we're going to pick the version for now, I'm going to pick motion blur, so that would be number 3. And immediately after that, it starts using IOB Unlocker, starts downloading everything. It'll, um, it'll, um, oops, lost it. It'll say operation succeeded, just click OK, and it'll repeat this process four times. And then once you're done, you should be good to go. And then there's the uh, Discord invite link. Um, if you install it from GitHub, you can also do the same thing from their GitHub page, which I'll show you in a sec. So now we're here on the official GitHub of the Better RTX installer page. What you want to do is you want to go to releases here, click one, version 1.1.1, open that up. You want to click better rtx installer.ps1 and then you want to put that on your desktop and if you and then after that just run the same process it's the same thing just on github instead of discord now finally what you're going to want to do is if the previous methods didn't work with installing from the server you're going to want to go back to the discord or or the github page so yeah go to the disc you're going to want to go to the discord open up um better rtx releases and pick the uh release that you want to do so for example if i wanted to open up motion blur you're going to want to scroll to the top all the way to the top and you'll see two um, different downloads where it should look like this RTX post or whatever the name is you want to download this one save 
and then download this one and save. So once you have those on your desktop, you're going to want to make sure they're in this, or wherever you put them, make sure they're the same directory location as the installer. So I'm in the desktop, it'd be easier, you guys can just put both of them here, and then you, once you have that done, you can run with PowerShell again, install Minecraft Bedrock Edition, um, and then you want to do number two, install from local files. So it's talking about these two. So once you click number two, it immediately starts the process with IOBit Unlocker. Once it finishes with the last one, you'll be good to go. And then don't forget that once again, once you run it, if you're not satisfied with um, BetterRTX, you can always uninstall and it just downloads current Minecraft um, RTX files and reinstalls them and removes the edited ones. So that's all there really is to it. All you're going to need now is once you open up your game. Once you finish with that, there um, you can go on YouTube or anything, or I'll leave a link to the vanilla RTX which I use in this video. You just want to go. To, once you download the file and open it, you should get a thing that said "Import into the game." Once you finish that, you want to go to Settings, Global Resources. It should be in My Packs. Once you go into My Packs, there should be an Activate button. But since I already activated it it'll just say deactivate so once it's done it should be in the active section and once you back out it'll load it it should be good to go so now for example if we jump onto cubecraft it should have better RTX working and there you go that's how you install better RTX Hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions or issues in the comments below. We'll see you next time.